Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these interesting functional equations? But how do you solve this? Before I try this, you can drop the answer in the comment box. So the question here is, what is f of 2? And given this composite function, f of f of x then minus 1 equals 1 plus x to the power of 16. Is there any direct formula for this? I mean a template method we can use to solve this? I don't think so, but we might have, then we do up with in the comment box. But this is how I solve this problem step by step. So let's get into solving it. From the given question, we have f of f of x, then minus 1 equals 1 plus x to the power of 16. We need to get f of x first, then we substitute the value of 2 here to x, then we get the same result. Some might have guessed by now that this is the answer, but let's start using the guess method. So first thing is, this f of f of x minus 1, so it depends on x to the power of 6. And can we see f of x is in the form of x to the power of n plus x. That is the exponent form x plus c. c is a constant. So let's try it, if it works. If I say f of x, it depends on, it equals x to the power of 16, then plus 1. So, where we make this x power 16, the subject here, then we transfer this minus 1 to this side. As we have f of x minus 1 equals x to the power of 16. And from these two sides, if I introduce another function to this, so introducing another function here, we have f of f of x minus 1, then equals f of x to the power of 16. But at this side, this is just like another function for x. Introducing it, we are going to have this as x to the power of 16, then all raised to the power of 16, which this gives us x raised to power 16 multiplied by 16 this gives us 256 and uh, we have this as plus 1 but the left hand side does not equal the right hand side because f of f of x minus 1 is 1 plus x raised to power of 16 both are not equal so which means the guess of f of x equals x power n plus c does not work but let's try another thing let's say i still assume that if i assume that our f of x is given as x power of 2 plus 1 does this going to be equal let's try and do that i mean i'm guessing the function to be a quadratic so by transferring this one here we have f of x minus 1 equals x raised to the power of 2. And introducing another function to it. So we have f of f of x minus 1 equals f of x raised to the power of raised to the power of 2. Then the whole of this side also becomes x power of 4 plus 1 and which is not equals 1 plus x power of 16. So which means guessing it to be a quadratic does not work. And any form of the even power here does not work. So what if we do it in this way? So all our guess has been failed, but let's try this thing if this works. If I say f of x is in the form of a fractional power let's guess it to be x raised to the power of 16 divided by n n is an integer then looking at this style suppose i have f of x minus 1 to be equals x to the power of a a is an unknown then does this true let's introduce a function to it 
we have f of f of x minus 1. This equals f of x to the power of a. So which means changing this a to be another function, we are going to have f of x raised to the power of a squared, then plus 1. But can we say these two also equal? We cannot finalize that. So if I still change this to another format of not sticking to only A, if I choose B as well. So suppose I choose B, and definitely the whole of this will be equals 1 plus x raised to the power 16, because f of f of x minus 1 is 1 plus x raised to the power of 16. Let's try and look at into this. Let's say I choose f of t to be more dimensional equals 1 plus x raised to the power of b. So 1 plus t raised to the power b. And with what we have here, so we have, by changing this one to x, we have f of x minus 1 equals x raised to the power of b. Then introducing another function to it, we have f of f of x minus 1 equals f of x raised to the power of b. And f of f of x minus 1 is given as 1 plus x raised to the power 16 equals, introducing this into the function as is a name, then we are going to have x raised to the power b, then all raised to the power b plus 1. So here we have one cancelled one. So x raised to the power 16 equals x raised to the power b raised to the power 2. So by cancelling x, we have b raised to the power 2 equals 16. So taking the square root of both sides, we are going to have b equals 4 plus or minus 4. And how can we verify if this truly really satisfied? So when we consider from the function where we have... So let's test. Suppose b equals 4. And when we have f of x equals 1 plus x raised to the power of b. So by changing this b to 4, we are going to have 1 plus x raised to the power of 4. But does it equal? So checking at this, looking at this, so we are going to have f of x minus 1 equals x raised to the power of 4. So introducing the function to it, let's say I change this one to x raised to the power of 4 on its own. We have f of x power 4 minus 1 equals x power 4 raised to the power of 4. And here is f of x power 4 minus 1 equals x power of 16. So therefore, f of x power 4 equals 1 plus x power of 16, so which this is true. And again, if you have at b equals minus 4. So with this, we are going to have f of x minus 1 equals x raised to the power minus 4. So this is somehow, but the x here is not equal to 0. Why? If we change this one to 1 over x raised to the power 4, x must not be equal to 0, then we have an undefined. Therefore, by changing this uh, to, uh, to x raised to the power minus 4, we have f of x raised to the power minus 4 equals x raised to the power minus 4 raised to the power minus 4 then plus 1. So this gives us f of x raised to the power minus 4 equals x raised to the power 16 plus 1. So this is also true. So therefore, what we need, so since we have verified this to be true, therefore for f of x, to be equals 1 plus x raised to the power of 4. So f of 2 will be equals 17. This is the result for this problem. Thanks for watching and how do you solve your own? Let's hear it in the comment box. Never stop learning. Bye bye.